In this video, I'm going to talk to you about a project that I just put together fairly recently. It's a Slayer Exciter type circuit. And the project was inspired by the work of Slider 2732, who was able to demonstrate modulation of the plasma discharge of the Slayer Exciter to produce uh, music. So I wanted to uh, try to reproduce that. I found that particularly fascinating because it's such a, a simple circuit only using one transistor. So what I did here is I um, have put together a Slayer exciter consisting of four turns of 18 gauge wire for the L2 coil and I have about two inches tall of 40 gauge wire for the R1 coil which is wrapped around a plastic bottle. And then um, I found that the uh, plasma was burning off the enamel from the wire. So what I did was I soldered the end of the wire onto a piece of thicker copper wire and then sharpened the end as you can see there. And uh, that uh, produced a much sharper, finer and more silent uh, plasma. The transistor that I'm using for this layer is a uh, BD139. I'm using a smoothing capacitor, it's like a thousand microfarads. And then I have two red diodes connected in series instead of a, a regular fast diode. And this seems to work pretty well and it tells you when the circuit is on. And then I have a uh, 47K uh, resistor which goes to the positive rail. And I put a switch in the circuit. And initially what I tried to do was connect this music player. This is a CD player as you can see here. The output, one of the outputs of the music player and I'm using the uh, the, uh, what I'm using is the headphone output, not the line out, but the headphone out. I connected one, one of it, one of those lines, to the base of the transistor, and I connected the other one to the negative, and they were direct connections, and I found that the uh, Slayer Exciter would not resonate when I did that, no matter what I tried. So then I tried playing around with some dis different resistances, and I put a uh, 57 ohm resistor, as you can see there, in between one of the output terminals from the audio and the base of the BD139 transistor, and I found that that would work, and it allowed for audio modulation, which is what I'm going to show you next. I'm powering this unit, by the way, with a 12 volt computer power supply, and um, instead of a 12 volt uh, lead acid battery and that seems to work pretty well and um, I tried the 6 volt lead on the output of this power supply and it really was not enough to drive the circuit but it definitely works well with the 12 volts so uh, what I have in the CD I have the Eagles and I'm going to get this playing let's get this going right now there it goes and uh, let's uh, switch this thing on and listen to the audio output. <laughs> 